Okay, so this is the Passion Fruit Walrus, and I am playing Dark Souls 3, the Fire Phase Edition. And here yes, we go. Indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Okay, so that was the intro. Um, so we're just going to set up a character. So we are... Let's see if we can actually get the whole thing in. Uh, that one, isn't it? The... Oops. Uh... Okay. Oh well, that'll do. Um, right, R2. Right, uh, we're going to be a lady on this playthrough. Um, mainly because I think the um, the magical stuff tends to look uh, the magic uh, the costumes for magic users tend to look better on a female. Uh, character. I am... Um, where's that? Right, okay, uh, just change her hair, I think, and that's going to be it. I'm not gonna, really going to bother doing very much. Where the hell's her hair? Not really going to change very much. 
partly because it takes ages and partly because we're going to look like a corpse for most of the time anyway, so... So I think that'll do. Right, uh, so yeah, we are going for... Uh, well, the plan is to play as a sorcery character and focus mainly on magic, uh, pyromancy, and uh, miracles and things, but I'm going to start out as a knight and then just sort of upgrade the uh, the intelligence, um, faith and uh, attunement and uh, sort of build a sorcerer character that way. Uh, that's mainly because I like playing as a knight, I use that quite a lot and it's quite a nice way to start the game so I'm just going to have a go at that and see how it goes. So we'll have him or her even and we want the souls as a burial gift because that starts you out with a bit more to uh, to upgrade with and that'll do. Come on, little bonfire. Okay then. Right, so basically we're sort of stuck with the knight character until until we get to um, the crucifixion woods and um, well, the first place we can get uh, spells is um, at Firelink. We can get like two two sorceries and I think one miracle um, so we'll probably do that and then use that a little bit but we'll probably have to use the sword quite a bit as well to start with and then we can start using the uh, the magic and add pyromancies and things a bit more uh, as we go on um, there's a pyromancer character who is um, Located in the Undead Settlement, and we'll be. Where's that guy with the. Oh, there he is. Who we'll go to to get some source. Uh, some uh, pyromancies from. as we play through. And when we get to the Crucifixion Woods, there's another character who does the sorceries. And there's a. Um, a, uh, a woman that sells miracles who is sort of halfway between the two. So we'll uh, see if we can get her as well. Now, what I'm doing at this point is basically just trying to chip away at this crystal lizard because Killing him gets you quite a lot of souls and it's quite nice to start the game off with because then you have um, you know, a bit more to level up with at the start and uh, makes progress a little bit uh, easier than it might be otherwise if you don't get eaten. Right, Estus and move, come on, okay. Okay, yeah. So this guy is pretty tough um, early on in the game, but if you um, if you can just circle him and uh, chip away, he's not too bad, and he's dead. So we'll get this twinkly over here. And carry on. Yeah, so that's got us like 4,000 souls now. So that's quite nice. Um, I 
can't remember how much it costs to level up the first couple of times. I think it's only a couple of hu a few hundred sort of closing on a thousand, so that's probably sort of three or four level ups that we can do with that, which is handy. I think there's another guy or a doggy or something around here. Yeah, here we go. Another 20 souls. Which barely counts for anything, but why not? Okay. So we head off here. Off towards the bonfire. We get some nice hills, and I believe that is Lothric Castle, where we will be going later on. Well, quite a lot late, later on. And over there, that's Firelink Shrine, where we are going next. But first, we'll rest at the bonfire. And I think that's going to be a good place to uh, stop, and then we will be back later with some more. So hopefully we'll see some of you, or at least someone, uh, next time. So bye-bye for now.